four day celebration is underway in Erie. It is your chance to explore seven majestic tall ships, not to mention the world's largest rubber duck and her duckling too. You remember when the duck was in Pittsburgh? Yeah, that was all the way back in 2013 and people love that duck. They sure did. So we sent Selena Pompiani Matheson up north on 79 to check out everything tall ship Erie has to offer this year. Ahoy, Selena. <laughs> Ahoy, David and Mikey. These ships are so tall. They are so beautiful and they're here from all over the world. Some of them include Canada's largest sailing ship, Erie's very own U.S. Brig Niagara and a Spanish ship. And that is where I'm standing right now. This is the beautiful now Trinidad and I am here with the guy who handles everything with tall ships Erie. This is Captain Sabatini. Now this is not your ship, right, Captain Sabatini? No, no, this is not my <laughs> Tell us more about this ship. This is the now Trinidad and yep. it's beautiful. It's an old ship. Yeah, we're talking about 15th century technology here, right? So everything on this ship will be completely different than what you'd be looking at on, say, the U.S. Brig Niagara, which is 200 year old technology or the Lady G. Howard. Uh, which Mikey actually sailed on. Uh, Lady yes, G. she Howard. did. And uh, so that's about 130 years old. So if you look at some of the, you know, the, even the blocks, right? Right. So this right here is this big square thing. Whereas on a modern racing yacht, everything is completely compact and rounded off and things like that. You know, even the shrouds here, like these are dead eye and lanyard. Right. So what that means is all of this rig is actually tensioned by hand. Wow. Right? So they've actually put, you know, block and tackle up on the shrouds and they tension everything just like that. So we're talking about a very, very old technology. Even the way the ship is steered is a little bit different. You know, here we have a whip staff, you know, on older vessels, you think of, you know, when you have, uh, you know, a tiller, right? Well, this is like having a tiller, <laughs> right. except it's going straight up and down. It's going straight. So it's you actually so... move this over and that goes down to a block and tackle below down to the rudder, and that's actually how you steer the ship. Ah, uh, I'm learning so much, and everything really kicked off yesterday. We were here, we got great video of all the ships sailing in. That was a sight to see. I mean, people were lined up all over the place. They were loving it. They really do. Yeah, so the, the, the whole parade of sail is one of those things that is just phenomenal to watch, you know, and with Niagara leading the way, that's really powerful for all of us because we want Niagara to be the center of attention, right? That's the hometown ship, you know, and then as you go through, then we have Letty G. Howard and Letty G. Howard is another hometown ship for us now. And many people are coming up from Pittsburgh to go sailing on Letty, mm -hmm. you know, over the course of the past five years, you know, Empire Sandy, again, huge uh, ship, really that's the, the largest ship we have here. And you get on board, I mean, they can take 250 people out just on a day sail, wow. which is phenomenal. Unbelievable. Pride of Baltimore too, which you're seeing right there, Yeah. I think is the most beautiful ship we have here. Uh, but as I've told everybody, don't tell the Niagara or Letty <laughs> crew that I said that. They may not appreciate it. If we I'm won't tell that anybody. There's another ship that's better looking than our ships. Well, we are not done yet. You are taking me on another ship. Where are we going next later in the show? We'll give you a little tease. We're going to Pride Baltimore, too, the ship I was just talking about. It's actually just down there. It's uh, two ships down. Oh, I cannot wait. It's so amazing to get this experience. And I know so many Pittsburgh people are here this weekend. I've met a lot of people, a lot of PTL viewers, David and Mikey, who are up here for the weekend. And I loved what you said last night. We were at the captain's dinner, David and Mikey, and Captain Sabatini said, you know, this is really a destination. This is Pittsburgh's backyard, and this is where people want to come to get connected to the water. I love that you said that, and it is so true. So we'll take you on that ship coming up in a few minutes. Stay tuned, guys. Yes, I love it. I, I mean, really, it, it, Slam is right. It's only two hours away. Right. And, I, you know, Tall Ships area, I've been up there before. I've been on the Letty G. Mm -hmm. And I, you get to see these beautiful, magnificent ships sail in, and you get to experience being on one. And I love it. It's just gorgeous to watch and being yeah. on the water like that is just cool too. Mm -hmm. So like Selena said, we are not done yet. We're going to have more from Erie coming up a little bit later on in the show.